okay so the other day uh, what we were doing we were talking about the activities yes now there may be scenario okay in the loop when we work with the loop there may be scenario i want to break the loop so you know very well that in programming you must have a break statement yes same thing is available here but right now in this scenario this is what it will do it will just get one item and break it so every time when we work with a break there must be an if statement correct yes or no so i will have an if statement if and then let me see the variable see the variables what i am having okay so what i will say if item is equal to hasan then what it will do simply break the loop if this is hasan break the loop continue what i am doing i am not doing anything so always it is also possible to have a if block with only true conditions and a empty false okay now what will happen in this situation the time it will find hasan it will simply break the loop and come out from the iterations and you will see in the output pan it is printing two names it is printing two name not the last one reason because once it is finding the break it is not stop it is simply stopping the loop understand it is straight forward small example the next next activity which we are having is see still we are talking about all the basics programming switch in case of switch what you will have you basically what is the use of switch if you are having multiple conditions multiple fixed condition which you are comparing with one value there is no range then you can go for switch for example i can write expression uh, here we have some number yes yeah i'm having a counter default value is 10 so i can say str count str count mode what is the meaning of mode mode stands for modulus okay when i say divide slash that means what i'll get the how many times i am able to divide but if you use mod you will get the reminders next one this is the default activity which will happen as like switch you can add a new case if the value is zero after execution if the value is zero i want to or form some event activity so what is the benefit you based on one condition you can have multiple execution based on like right now i am doing mod but on top of that i have given a user a menu 1 2 3 4 5 and i am asking the user to enter something some menu okay enter some menu what will happen here based on the user input i want to perform some task like here 0 and 1 then in this condition what will happen i'll get either even or odd but i can continue this and i can write multiple cases so what will happen based on one condition or based on one value you can execute any one of any one of the value based on what is your user input understand understand guys 
Yes or no? What is the use of switch? <laughs> so no, I mean, got it. Pardon? Yeah, we, we understand the answer. Now, this is in case of sequence. Okay? This is in case of sequence. We have one more flow switch for for flow chart where you will see you are having 12 nodes how many nodes 12 nodes the you are having 12 nodes so what you can do you can connect 12 nodes one input and multiple outputs okay that is supported go to the properties switch expression you just write the expression So this is also a way of writing the expression. Now, I am not able to get str counter. Why? Here, when I was able to see, I was able to see str counter. But when I am coming out, I am not able to see str counter. Now, the concept comes here. Is scope of a variable. The scope of a variable when I am selecting the scope activity you see str count and what is the scope delay activity what is the scope delay activity this is flow chart I'm changing this to main flow now when a scope is set here so this variable will be declared within that scope and once the scope is over, it will be destroyed. Got you? Got my point? So when the execution of this scope will start, this counter variable will be created. Once the execution is done, once it is reaches till the end, the scope, the variable will be destroyed. But we can elevate the scope or we can downgrade the scope for example right now i have selected delay activity and i can come to the scope of the variable double click see what it is telling either i can i can elevate this to main flow now what will happen you know now when the main will start this variable will be declared when the main will start, the variable will be declared and is going to be available in the, all the main flow and as well as inside all the sequences. But what is the problem? Memory, memory constraint, we need to think always. See, maybe this variable I don't need in all the activities. I just need only in the delay activity. Then the scope must be set to delay activity. But you need more than one activity, then you have to go and elevate it. Understand? Understand the scope of the activity? Based on the activities, we can set the scope. Understand? I think silence I'll take as an... You people understand what is the scope? Now let's go for the switch activity, same way. Now see I'm getting str count, mode 2, you can just give an expressions and you can start, this is default, this is 0, this is 1, see you need not to write anything. Based on the activity, based on my condition, this is my type argument, and it's coming. If it's a string, things will again change. So this is the default value. Case 1, case 2. Okay. Now you select the case. You can mention the null empty so for the time being just understand that we have a switch in the workflow also 
how later point of time we will utilize it someplace.